Hi folks and welcome back to the channel. So today what are we talking about? Well, I bought this product from Amazon. Now, if you've never seen this product before, this is a malt extract. Now in the old days, the bakers would add this into their bread. Now this, it, once again, is a, a product which, it's old school. And believe me, it's the sort of product that you guys out there ought to be using. Now, you can replace this with sugar. Now, you don't have to use very much of it. I'll give you some idea. Now, out of a two pound loaf, that's 100, sorry, out of a two pound loaf, that's 907 grams of flour. You only need, let me have six grams of this. So it's only a small amount. Now, let's be fair, when you're making this and using this, it doesn't have the characteristic of sugar really, but it does add a little bit of flavor. It is sweet apparently. Now the recipe I've been using going back years ago, this is the one which I used to do, it's Scotch Baps. Now we are going to cover this one on the channel eventually. You can see that, yeah. Yeah, as you can see, it's quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah, we won't be doing, we won't be doing all that, believe me. <laughs> hey, unless you're a bakery. And this book, well, this is very, very old. I mean, I, I think this has got to be at about 1940s or more. It's even got the old baker has written notes and everything in the back of it. <laughs> uh, look how bad it is. That's like a, that's what I like about old things. Now, if you want to buy some of this malt extract, now this is the one I purchased. This costs seven pounds and that's 650 grams. But if you don't really know what this is all about, what it is, is they heat the malt up and from the wheat and everything else that it's obviously made of, they heat it up and they get a syrup out of it. And sometimes you can buy it as a dried product as well. So out of interest, and apparently they say you can add this onto your toast. I've never done that. It's not a sort of thing I do. Or you can add spoonfuls. So I wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> yes, I brought a spoon with me just in case. You know what it's like. You never know. Well, if it says it on the side of the bottle, it's got to be done, isn't it? So let's open her up and see what it tastes like. Oh, they're going to put one of those stupid lids on. Hmm. Oh. If you guys like making homemade beer, this is the stuff. Oh, that does smell good. Oh, I've never done this before. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna have a spoonful of it. You can see it's quite a quite a bit on there anyway. Let's have a taste. Hmm. Oh God. Hmm. Well, let's say it's probably better in bread, bread and rolls and cakes and stuff like that. But to eat naturally, hmm. got to say that is not my cup of tea in that respect. Now, later on, we are going to be doing a, a few more videos using this type of product. And we're going to be using this book. Now, this is a very, very old book from the old days. So we're going to take some recipes out of this. Obviously, let's be fair. These are big recipes for you folk. So I'm going to convert them down into plain English. I mean, the recipe just for this today um, was 20 pound of flour. So I've divided that down into making it, like I said, to two pound of flour or seven, uh, sorry, for two pound of flour, and 907 grams of flour equal is only six grams of this stuff. Now, I will put a recipe down in the description. It won't be going right now because obviously in a few next few days, I'll write you up a recipe. We'll plonk it down in the description. And if you want to play with it, go for it. But it is a very simple recipe. In fact, I can tell you exactly what the recipe is going to be. I might as well, might not. Yeah, means I'm here. So, hey. It's already done. I sa saved me breath. 
Now, if you want to make sourdough, exactly the same thing. I know the sourdough guys say, they don't want to put anything unnatural in it. It's a natural product. It is. It's the real stuff. Now, you can use that in uh, sourdough, yeasted bread. If you're even using dried yeast, you can still use it just the same. So this is a straightforward recipe. Now, I'll, this, this is a sourdough recipe, but you can turn it into yeasted bread in a minute. I'll tell you how. So it's uh, 907 grams of strong white flour. Now, you can add a bit of rye into that if you want. It's 14 grams of salt. 226 grams of it's <laughs> it's 200 226 grams of sourdough starter now you can add that in for a bit of flavor anyway but you can actually go up to around about 400 grams if you want to if you want to get it moving you can now if you are be, being a bit of a cheapskate now the water for this is 566 grams Malt extract is six grams. Now, if you want to get that moving, I shouldn't be saying this, but if you had in seven grams of yeast, or a little bit less if you're using dry yeast, you add that into that, that'll spoof it up a bit and speed it along. And it'll be it'll come out. You still get some nice holes in it, the same as you would a sourdough. And have all the flavor of a sourdough. And I shouldn't be telling you this because the sourdough guys out there really hate people like me coming on here telling you how to make sourdough using commercial yeast. Now, you're not spoiling it at all in any way. And they talk a load of rubbish these days. They're basically speaking, they want you to turn around, stop using commercial yeast or dried yeast. And they want you to concentrate on using water and salt. And sod all else in it. Now, that's all they want you to do. And obviously, flour. And then that's all they want you to do. And personally, I think they're talking a load of rubbish. Because there's no such thing as what they're doing. But I make it just the same. I love making uh, sourdough. But I also like making yeasted bread. And sometimes I think it's really nice to have both both corners, isn't it? You know what it's like. I, I'm, I'm for this. I'm... I'm all for uh, a happy life. Now, don't get me wrong. It's a number of different recipes for different things. Now, the last video I did, I did it where I actually molded up the dough. And this is sourdough bread. And I molded it up like an ordinary loaf of bread. Oh, I got slammed for that. People said, oh, that ain't how you do it. Well, it's not that. It's how you want to do it. Sourdough is a natural product. It'll come up even if it's slapped around the floor and bounced all over the walls. It'll still come up just the same. It's just a yeast. In fact, it's at the end of the day, it's a mold. Let's get this correct. It's a mold which goes into the bread and it's actually not, but it's good mold. It's not the rubbishy mold that kill you. This is good mold. And that's all it is. It just moves it along. And really, that is what yeast is all about. Yeast is made in a factory. Yeah, but it is actually a natural mold, really. So you've got to think about it from that way. But going back to my commercial recipes, now most of my recipes I've done on the channel so far, all of them are from Baker's books and my old history. And the same thing is I've got loads of these little old fashioned books and I've taken recipes out of these I've never done before. And there's a lovely one in here. Now we, we best be quiet about this, but it's got how to make real Scotch baps. Look, I'm going to give you a quick glimpse. Yeah. I think you can see that all right. Yeah. If you want to freeze frame it and make it, go for it. Now, we're going to make some real Scotch baps. None of this rubbish you find on YouTube. I know I'm on YouTube and I'm saying it, but we're going to make some real Scotch baps. How they were properly done in the olden days. Not this counterfeit stuff they're doing. Oh, sometimes I look at the things they make today and I think, what on earth are they going on about? Y you know what it's like. I've, I've seen it all the time. But there we go. We're going to finish it off today because this is a live video. And I won't bore you with my BS because I can go on all day long. Believe me. I was going to do a, one of those one hour live streams and put your life down the side here. But I don't know. Mrs. Crazy Baker over there, she says to me, Steve, 
No, not today, thanks. We've got enough. So once again, if you want to buy some of this, this is Potter's. I'm not promoting it in any way. Uh, it's worth having a go with it. I am going to go and do a video on this and see what it comes out like. I'm going to use it in bread tonight and see what see what I make of it. Because remember, I used this years ago in the bakery, but it was actually from these people whose book this is. I've never used this one. So it'll be interesting to see how this works against what I used to use years ago. But I think it's going to be pretty much the same. It tastes foul, to be honest. Don't get eaten out of pot, really. I mean, it says you can and put it on bread. Oh, don't do it. Believe me. And if you like this type of content, sorry, if you like this type of content, God, I'm getting this around my neck. If you like this type of content, oh, forget it. If you like me and you want to subscribe, go for it. Or, or don't bother. I don't care. <laughs> and I'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Maker channel. Laters.